Hello, my name is Blue. I am studying creative writing abroad at the Danish Institute for Studying Abroad, located right here in Copenhagen, Denmark. I thought the fourth floor of the library was a good place to have this conversation because today we're going to talk, be talking about academics at DIS. I want to talk about all the things that I personally love about academics at DIS. And this is targeted towards prospective students, so maybe you've decided to come to Copenhagen already, or maybe you're still deciding. Either way, this video should tell you exactly what you should expect from academics at DIS study abroad in Copenhagen, Denmark. This video is divided up into sections listed below, so without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off, let me talk to you about the academic model of DIS courses. You've got either your core course or your elective course. Your core course is so much of what makes DIS DIS. It is like your central course. This is going to be the class that is most in line with your major. This is going to be the class that is your primary most area of interest. This is going to be the class with the most relevant material. The professors in your core course likely have the job you're interested in having in the future and your classmates are the people that you're going to be travel with while you're there. It is very much your anchor, and it's kind of like the higher education version of homeroom. Electives, on the other hand, are the three to four courses that you take in addition to your core course. Elective courses are more like your opportunity to try something new. There's over 200 elective courses to pick from. I, for example, preferred to have my core course be my main course and build my electives around my core course, but I know some people choose to have their core course be in their main area of interest, like their major, and their electives be completely different fields that they just decide to take because it piques their interest, or it's because it's something they've always wanted to study but never got the opportunity to do so at their home university. Either way, so long as you meet the 12 credit requirement for classes, you will find that your courses are very customizable and you'll be able to tailor your schedule to get whichever experience that you want academic. DIS also has field studies. Field studies are weekly voyages into the city to places that are relevant to your course material. They're basically like field trips. <laughs> But instead of going for just fun, you're going to actually study there, you're going to actually apply the material that you're learning in the classroom, but except now, it's outside the classroom. You will have a field study every single week, every single day on Wednesday. You will have the opportunity to go to a museum or a hospital or one of my field studies, we, took, we went to a cemetery and we visit the grave of the author that we were reading in class and just lingered about on how that changed the reading experience. You're, Field studies happen in any class, and sometimes you can have multiple field studies in one Wednesday. It really just depends on what class you are, but all classes are going to be having field studies to ensure that you're getting the opportunity to apply your knowledge in the real world. And we have my favorite part about the academics at DIS, the study tours. Study trips are trips funded by DIS that take you throughout Europe to study learn, travel, and explore. This means going to Paris, to Venice, to Prague, to Istanbul, to Barcelona. Your core course will have two study tours, one short one in the beginning of the semester that's two to three days long, and then one long one towards the middle of the semester that's a week long. On these tours, you will live with your classmates and professors, exploring your site, applying material, doing your classwork. It's basically like a field study, but instead of lasting one afternoon, it lasts some days. I think you having the opportunity to travel integrated into your schedule week will be so deeply transformative for you. Personally, I went to Feinu, Denmark for my short study tour and will be going to Berlin in a few weeks for my long study tour in order to just absorb the culture and have an education in a more culturally competent lens. Courses here are taught in English, although there is a Danish language and culture class that you can take if you so choose. And yeah, in my experience, DIS does a very good job of making sure your assignments and your education is location-based. So you're not only interacting with your material, but with Danish culture and Europe, Europe at large. Moving on, you have your peers, classroom, and learning environment, as well as talking about the workload. Most of your peers are going to be other American students that are studying abroad from US universities all across the country. You will find that DIS is primarily discussion-based. There are not many deliverables for you to turn in. All of my classes have four grades only that you turn in throughout the whole semester. This is an exam, a group project, a paper, and participation. Instead of worksheets and quizzes and daily journal entries, you will find that the homework assigned is assigned to prepare you for the discussions in class. You'll have a ton of reading, and a lot of the reading amount will likely be similar to what you're already doing at your home university. 
but they're meant to prepare you for class and you will find that the classes are more like Socratic seminars and sometimes even more like workshops rather than lecture halls. Although I have heard a few of the STEM courses are more lecture based, but if you're a student that appreciates workshopping material, if you're a student that appreciates deliberating and coming to a shared understanding of objectives rather than sitting in a chair quietly while a professor lectures to you, I think you will find that DIS's mode and DIS's model of education and academia will be very fulfilling to you, as I have. Moving on, I want to talk about professors. In terms of the professoriate at DIS, all of DIS faculty teach what they do. All of them have positions in their field. These are people who Teaching isn't even their main job. Most of them have careers outside of DIS, careers that they've had for decades and decades now. And you will find that the wide range of professional backgrounds and years of working and teaching careers is what gives these professors their niche. It gives them this specialty, and that specialty is reflected in the sheer number of courses that DIS offers. This is what gives you that diversity of options, and mostly options that you won't find at your home university or likely at other study abroad programs you're looking for. And I know that was one of the very big points that made me actually want to come to Copenhagen is that the classes that are here are stuff that I was gonna have to wait till grad school to go to. And yet here I am taking them my sophomore year of college. Being that most professors have careers outside of DIS, this will change their availability in the class environment in general. Only by just a bit though. There aren't office hours at DIS. The professors don't have office hours that you can walk in and get your questions answered. But they do have emails, they do have inboxes on Canvas, they do have other availabilities. Some of my professors are even willing to give you their number so you can text them your questions at any time. Professors are willing to meet you in cafes or even just for a few minutes after class. So you likely won't be seeing the same scheduled availability that you're used to at your home university. This might actually be better to not have office hours because when you're in the workforce, you're gonna be able to master the skill of approaching and connecting to other professionals and you're gonna have to learn to find ways to do that outside for a set time that's saying okay you can come to me now and i've found that dis almost lets you practice that skill dis isn't a campus per se in the sense of the usual definition that you're used to hearing in your home universities it's more like a collection of buildings that are scattered across the city of which classes are hosted in it's different from American universities because American universities feel centralized. They feel like everything is in one place, but at DIS, you'll have to walk a few blocks to get to class from one building to the next. Don't worry, it's super fun and super easy and super rewarding to navigate the streets of Copenhagen. And I think you'll find it just a very different experience that the city is so interwoven into the campus. It's just a very different experience for the biology class to be right here, your practicum class to be right here, and a boba shop to be right here. Other little tidbits about professors is a lot of them actually prefer to be called by their first name in Denmark. Credit transfer at DIS is very similar to what you're seeing at other study abroad programs in which you're having to apply and send a communications to your home university justifying why, hey, this course should count for this GE. But don't worry, now a lot of this is actually going to depend on what your home university thinks when they read the syllabus of the class, but personally I found that all five of my classes counted for my major and got, got rid of a few general education requirements as well. I will say in terms of credit transfer, you're not going to be able to get some of those, those things like labs. A lot, you won't be able to get those ab abroad in general. Assuming your home university's academic office is cooperative and willing to accept DIS credits, it should be super easy for you, but I would definitely make sure to check check that the classes that you register for transfer over to your home university before you even come to Copenhagen. In terms of grading, you can choose to opt for pass-fail or you can choose to have a normal number grade. Again, this will be a conversation between you and your home university, not with DIS. However, the transcripts are sent out at the end of the semester for DIS and they are willing to send out the transcript in whatever format that is agreed upon between you and your home university. Do keep in mind though, although the grades while you're studying abroad, say if you choose to take pass or fail, might not count towards your GPA at your home university. If you go to grad school, 
they're likely going to request to see some of the courses and some of the grades that you received while you were studying abroad. So just keep that in mind that when you're applying to grad schools, they will likely be able to see the grades that you're getting here. But that shouldn't be a problem because class DIS courses are very discussion based and there's resources here to take care of you and they're very intriguing and engaging and you will find that you want to get the most out of the classes and that you want to engage with the material and with the cultural around you in this deep stimulating way and by nature that will lend to higher grades. You don't have to worry about buying textbooks. DIS buys all textbooks for all students for all classes. Another unique thing about DIS that I have found very rewarding is the student hub. Many study abroad programs don't have on-site faculty. Students are usually in their country by themselves. And I know personally when I was applying for study abroad, that was something that was very daunting to me because if you put me in the middle of Brazil by myself with a bunch of other 20 something year olds and are just like, all right, go get your education. Keep it, thank you. The student hub is like the main building of DIS. Of all the buildings scattered across Copenhagen, the student hub is like the center one. It basically serves as the centermost spot of the program. The help desk has here, there's advisors here, there's tech support here, sometimes there's food and other events here. And it's just that central one-stop shop that really helps the confused student that doesn't know where anything is. I know when I was at my home university, the central centermost one-stop spot was my room. Whereas since the hub is in the middle of the city, it incentivized students to, in between classes, come by this, the hub, say hi, stop by, get a piece of coffee, print some paperwork, talk to people, socialize. Instead of going to your room and taking a nap in between classes, you can actually come here and just lounge around or just talk to people or do some homework. And I've found that that has been very rewarding and that has definitely reflected in both my academic and my social life here in Copenhagen. Another thing that I mentioned earlier was registration. You register for classes after you get accepted, but before you get to Copenhagen. I remember registering for my classes in like October, 2021, even though classes didn't start in Denmark until January, 2022. During registration, you can request academic accommodations that you might already have in place at your home university. And as long as they're within reason, DIS will provide those for you and make sure that you're getting the best academic experience as possible. Since there's just so many classes to register for, you won't find that registration is as cutthroat as it is at your home university. But I would still make sure that you're applying early and picking the classes that you want. During registration, you can also ask for academic advisors. These are people to help with planning, class conflicts, adding and dropping a course, or any question that I didn't answer in this video. So yeah, I am very happy with the way my academics has gone at DIS so far. It's one of the main reasons that I decided to come here. The course material, the alive, dynamic classrooms, the emphasis on applying knowledge in the city, the interwovenness of the cultural experience as well as the classroom experience has just been so enriching for me and it's so new and just something that it's exactly what I wanted to do when I chose to study abroad and I found it just very rewarding. Hence why I wanted to make this video. Let me know if you found anything interesting. What do you think about the academics at DIS? Drop it in the comment section below and thank you for watching. See you in the next one.